Hello there and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, we'll be talking about how to make cement at home. But before then, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so that you get posted of all our videos and resources each time we upload them. Now this is Sunshine Resources and on this channel we are committed to creating entrepreneurs. We have dozens and dozens of videos on how to make various household products. I've dropped link to some of our resources in the description box below this video. Just like I said before, in this video we'll be talking about how to make cement at home. But before I go ahead, let me share this experience with you. I remember when I was in school, we would go on an excursion to industries to see some of the industrial processes. It is not part of the curriculum, but sometimes we will initiate such moves so that we can move out of the campus to see other things outside the campus. When we get to the industry, at that time, for me, I usually come back more terrified because I can't imagine how I will be able to raise money to assemble such gigantic industrial machines that we see in the industry if I want to start my own company. Little did I know that some of these things can be made at home at domestic level. I was thinking this way because long before I graduated from school, I've always wanted to become an industrialist. I was studying not because I want to work for people, but because I want to have my own company in the future. My fellow classmates were not bothered about how to start a company, but they were bothered about how to get a job with these companies after graduation. So I noticed that I and my classmate were not in the same world. While I was thinking like an employer, they were thinking like an employee. Like I always say, it is that line of thinking that made me who I am today. So what am I saying here? The impression that we get from the system make us feel that commodities like soap, detergent, bleach and all the household products that you know cannot be made at home. And that was what I felt about cement too. Can it be produced at home? I'm sure you wonder the same thing. But with Sunshine Resources Channel, we've been able to demystify that belief. There are so many household products of chemical origin you can make at home, at domestic level, and we have shown you most of them on this channel. I want you to bear in mind that some of the big industries you see today, they started in their backyard, including fuel and even cement production. But society makes it to appear very complex and unachievable by common people. That is not true. Cement, just like food, is a very essential commodity. It is second most consumed commodity in any city of the world. It is produced by heating limestone and clay to a temperature of about 1400 degrees Celsius to form a substance called clinker in a rotating clean. Limestone is a very popular raw material found in Nigeria. It is primarily calcium carbonate. Clay on the other hand is also a readily available material. When you mix these two substances together you get clinker. Now the clinker itself is not cement but is part of the cement. Now to get cement then you must add gypsum salt to clinker. Gypsum salt is magnesium sulfate. When Dangote started manufacturing cement in Nigeria, he was first importing clinker to Nigeria. And when he brings in the clinker, he will now add gypsum salt to it to make it become cement. But having discovered where limestone is available in Nigeria, he now produced the clinker and the cement here in Nigeria. This is basically how to produce cement. Now, if you want to make it at home, the only obstacle here is how to achieve the temperature of about 1000 400 degrees centigrade when you mix the limestone and clay together because it is a very large amount of heat. I'm aware that there is an oven that you can use to achieve this temperature of 1400 degrees centigrade but it is not economical. The oven is very expensive. If you can achieve this temperature, your cement will definitely be formed. Let's think about how you can achieve this temperature of 1400 degrees centigrade. In the industry, the kiln can fire up to 1400 degrees centigrade. But we are trying to explore the fireplace of the African blacksmith to see if it can heat up to 1400 degrees Celsius. We will keep you updated. And if you have an idea of how to achieve this temperature of 1400 degrees centigrade, do not hesitate to let us know in the comment box below. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can
visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash Sunshine Resources SRTV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page at Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.